After your builds are complete, AppCircle will distribute this app to a list of testers or send them to the App Store or Google Play Store. So for iOS apps, in order for these apps to run on your testers devices or to be sent to App Store, these builds need to be signed with a certificate and a provisioning profile. In order to add signing identities, I go to my signing identities tab in App Circle, and from here, I need to add my iOS certificates and their corresponding provisioning profiles. I do have two tabs here, one for provisioning profiles, the other one for certificates. So I need to make sure that I add these one by one. So I need a distribution certificate to distribute this app to testers or the App Store. So I will just tab add new and choose the P12 file bundle, upload the P12 file and write its password, and then it's saved to App Circle. And to add provisioning profile, I just go to provisioning profiles and then tap add new. There are two options here. One, I can upload the provision profile file manually by tapping this. Just, you know, drag and drop my file and then hit upload. Or I can just use my connection to App Store Connect and fetch all the provision profiles from App Store Connect servers. So this is a, another option. In order to get this working, I need to go to my organization and from here to profile and team and there's an option that says App Store Connect API keys. We will have a separate video on how to add these API keys and how to generate them from Apple's system. Uh, make sure to watch that as well. But in here, you can add a new API key, upload its file, write the uh, issuer ID and, and the key ID and then you're good to go. Once you have this key, you can just go back to signing identities, tap add new, and then get provision profiles from Apple. Just pick the API key that we've entered. And then it will just list me all the provisioning profiles in Apple servers. I can just tap these and download them to App Circles Vault afterwards so that I can use them in my builds. We have all our provision profiles for each one of our targets. So I do have a watch OS app and a watch extension in my project. And also I do have two provisioning files, one for ad hoc distribution and the other one is for App Store distribution. So I do have everything set, but there's also a type of provisioning profile that matches all these things. So you can just have one provisioning profile. Instead, it's called a wildcard provisioning profile that you can create from Apple's site. So let's just go back to our build tab and make sure that these apps are being signed. I go to my build profile detail, uh, just go to the configuration of my master branch and then hit signing. And I will see a list of provision profiles that AppCircle will use while signing. So there is none because I haven't configured signing yet. So I need to add one by using this plus button here. And it will ask me one bundle identifier and one provisioning profile that will be used to sign that bundle identifier. So from the list here, I will choose a provisioning profile. It just gives me all the provision profiles inside App Circle. So let me just start by using the App Store, the main app, and then I need to add its bundle identifier. And I need to sign the Watch app and the WatchKit extension as well. So I will add two more, one for the WatchKit app, and the third one is for the extension. Okay, I do have all three set up. So now my builds will be signed using these provisioning profiles. In order for them to be signed, make sure that you have the code signing step in your workflows. So this install certificates and profiles step is required. This is what actually installs these certificates and profiles uh, before you run a Xcode build. So make sure that you have this step before that. And when we tap build, our builds will be signed and distributed. And I'll see you on the next video.